All right, everybody, let's go through the market data that has finally come in, uh, completing out the month of March. Um, so let's start with the median sales price. So it did pop up to $825,000 right where we had projected it to go. That's a 5.5% increase month over month. And just for some perspective, that is a 21% increase or 21% appreciation rate year over year. And right, so pricing is continuing to go up. The question is why? Uh, so let's look into that. Active market time, nine days across the entire county. Keep in mind, these are single family homes. These are condos, townhomes, twin homes, row homes, manufactured homes, and mobile homes throughout the entire county. So this includes Carmel Valley and it includes Borrego Springs. The amount of time, the median that a home is staying on the market is nine days. All right. Now, if we take a look at the month's worth of inventory, we are at 0.6 months worth of inventory across the entire county. Two months in San Diego is considered to be a strong seller's market. We are at 0.6 months. All right. So it's giving you an idea of how quickly homes are going. When we look at the active listings, we ended the month with 1,948 listings. That is a historic low. That is 42% down year over year. If we roll that back to the last healthy market that we saw pre-pandemic, which would be 2019, we had 13,381 listings. All right, so this is primarily, predominantly 99% supply and demand. All right, there just is nothing available. The demand for homes is higher. All right, so if we take a look at the number of new listings that came on throughout the month of March, we had 3,565 listings come on, which is good. But when we take a look at the pending sales, 3,474 of them went into escrow, meaning they accepted an offer. That's a delta of 91 homes that came on the market that didn't sell. All right. And so that is a, that's a substantial issue. The market is moving. It just simply the inventory is low. Here's the last key point I want to show you guys. This is the sales price to list price ratio. So if a home is listed for a dollar and sells for a dollar, that's 100%. We are currently at 105.8% through the month of March. All right. So the record high that everybody thought was insane last year was in June at 103.7. We are now at 105.8. All right. So there's your market data. At the end of the day, this is really going to come down to your ability to structure an offer that is going to be competitive against all of the other buyers out there. So first and foremost, that's understanding the market. Then it comes to understanding your competition, and then it comes to having the strategies to put an offer together. We're using 50 plus strategies with just about every single offer we're writing, and that's how we're handing our buyers sets of keys. So if you guys want to get together and talk about this, call, text, or email. We can get something set up. I want to make sure that your family doesn't get left behind, especially as the interest rates are continuing to rise.